Big Feet Boy. Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bowu Tang Leopard. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image. I just, I just, I, it, 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 that always happens. We have a nice image here of the figure, little schematic image there on the side. There we have Leopard, there we have Leopard, up top things and stuff that I cannot read. Boo school, I can read that. On the bottom, words, things, bark. Yes, it says caution. Yes, I noticed that now, whatever. It's it's still English, I can still read it. Just, just have to replace that letter. But on the back, obligatory product shots. Open up the flap. You have some more obligatory product shots, some more stuff that I cannot read. It's a light thing. Things, stuff, trays, figures sitting there. You know how it works, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Leopard, another figure here from Bo Tang. And uh, yeah, I've also seen this figure referred to as Panther, so I'm not sure which one is correct. I'm going with Leopard. I've seen it referred to as both, so I don't know if it's Panther or Leopard. I'm going with Leopard, but yes... Here is Leopard in robot mode. It's packed in robot mode. And uh, another very cool design here. I do quite like how this one looks. But let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look. Not at his abs. At his noggin. Oh, there's a noggin. And a good looking head sculpt there, in my opinion. I like it. I love the goggles here. And you can bring the goggles down if you want to. Have <laughs> that going on. I really dig that. Oh no, a nicely done head sculpt. A very brawn uh, color scheme going on here. Now, just to put it out there, um, you know, a couple people asked in the Mountain Lion review, um, these are not based on any existing characters. This company is doing its own thing. These are their characters, their designs. They're just doing something totally original here. But, you know, again, you look at the color scheme, you do kind of like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a brawn color scheme. But, <laughs> but anyway, detailing wise, Paintwork wise looks really good. He has a very just that's just that's obscene. Why is that just poking out like that? I don't know. Hey, you know. Complex, you know? Even robots have their complexes. But anywho. <laughs> Some nice detailing going on here. The big old feet. Over at the back. You got the leopard booty or panther booty. Whatever. You got the backpack here, which is just the treads hanging out. You can configure these. In a couple different ways. In the instructions, they have these configured, I think, like three different ways. So you can kind of do what you want there with the backpack. I have it like that because I kind of like the, uh, kind of like, you know, wing look going on there. But as always, display it however you wish. It is your toy. But articulation-wise, oh, the head is on a ball joint. So you have lots of wiggly waggly. You can look up a good bit. You can do squirrel. You can pull down the goggles and do night squirrel. I don't know. Uh, arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. Outward movement on a nice ratchet as well. You get some nice range there. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. You get over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You get wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. You get wrist rotation. Uh, legs you can move forward that far. You can do the big boots. Back that far. Outward. Can only get about that far. Can't do the full splits. Yeah, thigh rotation. Uh, knee articulation, unfortunately, is very limited just due to how everything is designed back here. You're only getting that much knee bend, unfortunately. Um, as far as the feet go, um, they can move up. They can move down. You have to move like the tread down and then the toe down. That's how that works. And you do have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you get uh, this little gun emplacement right here. Just done in black. It looks quite good. And there's a post for it right here on the shoulder. So you can plug that in right up there. You do also get the turrets for the tank itself. And this is the uh, robot mode configuration for it. And how this works is there is a uh, post right here on the forearm, a little port right here. You can plug it on either arm and have that going on. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. Uh, one thing to note also is that the shoulders, these panels can kind of flare out so if you want to have like the shoulder pads kind of sticking out angle them you can kind of do what you want there i just leave them down because you know whatever but as always do what you want 
And another thing we can do here if we want is we can unplug the uh, the cannon here from the turret. You can see there's like a little molded missile here on his shoulder, but you can also plug this onto that missile and just have this big old cannon on his shoulder as well. Hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it. You also get a uh, decal sheet. I believe these are water slides. Um, so yeah, you get a bunch of decals. You can slap on him. I will not be putting these on because I do not like water slide decals in any way, shape, or form. They look amazing. I know they look amazing once you put them on, but I just hate working with water slide decals. But I'm not going to put these on anyway. It's just too much and also stuff that I cannot read. So yeah, no, I'm not going to bother. But hey, it's there. Options. They're good. And you also get, uh, just like with Mountain Lion, you get this lovely little backdrop here that you can display him with. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Nice little kind of like forest backdrop going on. But hey, options. Again, they're good. So there you have that. And now for Comparas Hunt. Here he is with the uh, Earthrise. Optimus Prime with MP44, Optimus Prime, and of course with the Bowtang Mountain Lion. So you can see how they look together, and they look quite good together. And if you want a measurement uh, to the top of his head, he comes in at about eight and a quarter inches tall. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks quite good. I quite dig the design of this guy. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So after we remove his weapons and put them off to the side, the first thing we need to do is just bring his shoulders out to the side. Then we're going to just open up his backpack here and just kind of get all this kind of fanned out. So now we're going to work on the legs. So the first thing you want to do is take this tread here and bring it up. This is a locking point because you see there's a tab that goes into a notch right in here. So if you don't undo this, you won't be able to do the next part. So bring this up and then you're going to take this and shift it over. Just to hold in very securely. But there we go. Undo all that. And then once you've done that, you can bring this back down. Now as far as the foot goes, you're going to bring back the tread first and then bring down the toe and then you can take these two sections of the tread and tab them together and then bring this section up get that out of the way and then you can just collapse all of this up and that will just snap together right there then you can bring this down like so and just leave this up for now and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so just bring that up and get everything undone. And it does hold together very securely. Come on. Oh, baby. Come on. There we go. Untap that. You can bring that back down. You can raise this up. Uh, take the tread. Bring that back. Bring that down. Connect the two sections together. And then just bring that the rest of the way up. That'll snap in. Bring that down. Like so. Get everything straightened out. And you got that done. Now you have these panels here. You're going to bring up. I'm going to get this out of the way. So you can bring that up. You can bring these back up. So now you have a lot of things we're going to connect here. So we have these two latches that will go over this. You have this that will go over that. And then these sections here will connect as well. So just get everything situated. I, I do this first. Seems to be the easiest way. Do that first, and then hook these bits together, and then you can hook this section together. And there you have all that. So once you have that done, you want to take a scratch and flip this section down, and then this panel will cover it up like that. Once that is done, take this whole lower body and rotate it 180. Now we're going to take these tread sections here, just kind of swing them down and bring all of this around and just kind of get this out of the way for now. Because now we have to take his arms, his arms are tabbed in right in here, so you're just pushing them up, pushing them up, and that will undo all of this. This hinge right here is on a slider, so you want to push this down and then just flatten all this out so it's looking like that. So once that's done, now we can work on all of this section. So you're going to just square all this up, 
rotate this around, you want to bring out these tread sections. And actually, you want to swing it around the other way, like that. And this will come up and over. Okay, you just have to work with all the hinges here. And all that will sit in place. There's a little tab slot connection right here for it. And that'll just sit right there. And get all that in place. We're not going to connect those sections just yet. Again, bring that under. Open up this section of the tread. And then bring that over. Tab in that little bit there. Swing all this around, get all that in place, and now we can connect these sections of the treads, like so, and like so. And then we just bring this panel down, and close all that up, and we got that going. These panels here will just swing in, you got a tab slot connection right there. Swing that in, push it into place, swing that in, and just push that in. And we got that going. And now to work the arms, just bring them back down. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take the fist, flip it in. You're going to rotate all of this out, rotate this section up, flip the fist the rest of the way in, and then all of this will rotate in. And you rotate this out as you're doing it. And this little section here you just want to leave out on that hinge. It's going to be sitting just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, bring that out. You can flip this up. Bring this over. And make sure that fist tucks in right there. And then rotate all of this in. And all of this will just hook together in the back. Like so. Again, leave these little sections flared out like that. And now we bring in the turrets. We split this, bring this out, just drop it down, and you have these tabs that will go into notches on either side right here. So just drop it down, get it lined up, and then you can just close this on either side, like so, to lock it in place. We can take this little gun emplacement, that'll plug in right here, you can angle that how you want. And there you go, there you have La Bird in his tank mode. Ooh, pretty good spin. <laughs> there he is in tank mode. And just like with Mountain Lion, it's a really good looking tank. Very good looking tank. And a nice transformation. It all works very well, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at those details. You can see the nice camo going on there. Very cool. LZ 208s. Yeah, that symbol right there. Maybe it is Panther. I don't know. That looks like a Panther to me. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Again, I've I've heard this figure referred to as both. I can't read the box, so I don't know. So could be Panther. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Leopard anyway, just because I've already committed. But I'm probably wrong. You can see the back there. Looks good. Lots of detail there on the turret itself. And there's the top, there is the bottom. He has visible, he visible pretty much everything syndrome. You got the little rolling wheels, so he can roll as well you think should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Mountain Lion. So you can see how they look together. They do look quite good together. Good looking set of tanks there. Good looking set of tanks. Now, as far as the articulation in tank mode goes, the turret can rotate, can do a full 360. The cannon itself can move up and down. You can rotate this gun emplacement around if you want to. You can do a full 360. So you get your usual, you know, tankish movements there. And again, if you want, hey, you can take the backdrop, drop that, drop that in the back. What you do with backdrops, you know how backdrops work. But hey, again, things, stuff, you can do it if you want. So there you have Leopard, and uh, yeah, another very cool figure here from Bo Wutang, and uh, I, I really like it. I'm really digging this line. Um, just a really good-looking robot mode, um, good-looking tank mode, good transformation, good engineering here. Um, Quality-wise, it feels solid. It feels sturdy. just feels like a good quality figure. Overall, very pleased with this line so far, so... There you go. Now I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. 
You can also check out the Bo Wu-Tang playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Bo Tang Leopard. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Oh, hello, fellow bots. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Don't waste your time with these guys. No, nope. come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. That was all your fault. What did I do? You know what you did.